sequencing models and the jobs on two machines for example if we have seven jobs each of which have to go through machines a and b a is then b in this specific order sequential machine and we have the processing time for each one of them in hours so i'm gonna show you step by step baby steps how we're gonna fill in this table on the right hand side how we're gonna calculate the total idle time for machine a the total idle time for machine b the total apps time for both of them and the total idle time for both machines okay in a very easy way but before we start i'm gonna show you we're gonna use an algorithm which is johnson and bellman if the algorithm it goes like this if all the processing time okay show here in this little table okay with those numbers so for example job one has a processing time of three hours on machine a and then has an eight hours on machine b and the question is how do we sequence those jobs and what order on those two machines so we start with this if all the if out of all the processing time okay we select the minimums for a and b's if it is a we select the minimum out of all of them if it is a's we put it at that we put the job first and if it is b we put the job last if there is tie in selecting all the processing times and are following three ways to deal with this situation if the minimum of a's and the minimum of b is equal okay so we do the job first and the b job last if both minimum they are at they are if both minimum they are at a's machine for or uh, sorry machine a so we picked one at random both minimum they are of machine b's so we pick we pick one at random okay just anyone and then we eliminate the jobs being selected and we redo this algorithm so let's start out of the processing time of the seven job so which one we have to start with again out of all processing time of all the jobs we select the minimum one of all those values in hours so one b uh, related to machine b so this one has to be the last one we have to start with so one which is the processing time for job six so this is has to be the last one we have to go through it so we put it right at the end of the scale okay and we um, let me just put it in red and kind of we uh, remove we eliminate this job so the next step would be machine a uh, job one which is three hours of machining on machine a and job seven which is three hours of machining on job b as a rule dictates if both jobs related to both machine or they have to go on both machine processing time are equivalent so we put one of them at the start and we put the other one at the end depend if it is machines a or machine b okay and we eliminate this job now we have remaining job two three four five so we have 12 10 15 10 6 6 and 10 12 so job four okay so we uh, definitely the priority is for if like for example both processing time of both ma on both machines are equivalent so the priority is to be for the first job in sequence for the first machine in sequence which is a uh, so the next one will be uh, 10 and 10 so we could just any one of them and definitely we pick the minimum one like job one two three so this is job two and we have again this time so job three and the remaining one is job five okay and we're done so the next point is to write those numbers here so we have one four five three two seven six So let's do it step by step. We're gonna start with job one. Job one machining time on uh, machining time and hours on machine A is three hours. So it start at zero and finish at three. Okay. It start at zero and it finish at three as a time out. 
then we move to job 4 job 4 timing on machine A is 12 okay. so job 4 machine timing on uh, so we move to job 4 job 4 mean timing on machine A is 6 excuse me so we start at 3 and we finish at 9 so we require 6 hours and then we move to 5 okay so we have we need job 5 so job 5 here is 10 hours so we move to 9 and then 19 as simple as that okay and then after job 5 we move to job 3 which 15 so we have here 19 34 and then we move to job 2 which is 12 so 34 46 and then we move to job 7 which is 9 so 46 55 and then we move to job 6 from the table which is 11 so 55 and 66 and the reason is a the reason that machine a and b are sequential so we always start with machine a it's extremely obvious that the idle time here is zero all the way down till the end okay zero idle time for all of them okay so let's move now to let's move now to let me just fix this i just want everything to be perfect and let's save it so let's move now to job to machine B. So job one it finished from machine A. So I have to move to machine B. It finished at three, okay, and plus eight, the one here. So this one will be eleven, okay. The reason is, I will take just one second, and then we move to job four. Job four. So here. Uh, machine B yes this one it finished at 3 but this one it didn't start till 3 so it has to wait for 3 hours time in of this one and then time in of this one so that value here is literally this one minus this one here okay so it's 3 okay I'm gonna go like really slowly but we have to do it in this way otherwise it will not be clear now we move job 4 job 4 is six hours on machine b it finished at nine is ready to start at machine b at nine but the thing is we have job uh, three is already at machine b till 11 so we have to wait till 11 so here 11 and it need six hours so here is 17 okay so the idle time here on machine uh, B is zero. The reason is that that here yes it finish at even start at eleven, but the job four it has to wait for two hours between machine A and machine B. Okay. Now we move to job five. Job five is twelve hours, so it does not start till. Is 12 hours does not start on machine machine B is ready at 17 but does not we're not able to start till 19 because job 5 does not finish from machine A till 19 and then it requires 12 hours so this one is 31 okay and we have here two hours as idle time and we have here zero hours as you could see here like machine B is idle at 17 but we were not able to start till job 5 finished from machine A and then we move to job 3 which is 10 okay so we f machine B is idle at 31 but we're not able to start till 34 hour so this one is 44 and this one is equal to this one minus that okay so it's a 3 hours and then we move to job two. Job two is 10 hours, okay? And yes, machine B is idle, but you're not able to start till 46. So this one is 56. And this one definitely is equal to two, okay? Then we move to job seven, which is three hours. So machine B is idle at 56, but the job seven has to for one hour till machine B is idle. So here is 56 and 
uh, job seven it requires one hour so is here is 56 and sorry six hours excuse me so here is 59 and the idle time is again zero and for the last job which is a job six is about exactly one hour the job machine b is idle but we're not only able to start that this one is finished so this one is 66 plus one hour of 67 so this is by default is equal to 7 okay so let me just uh, I'm gonna fix this just to make it nice so one of the things that comes to my attention uh, machine B always starts in two ways uh, always start in two condition excuse me if regardless of the machine is ready or not machine B the job has we have to wait for the job to finish from machine A another condition that even if the job has finished the machine has to be added so both conditions are as, as follows the machine has to be idle and the job has to be ready to be processed okay the job has to be ready to be processed on the system so uh, so here is 67 because it's plus one uh, so for example I will give you an example like here is 55 and this one is 56 so we take 56 here is 46 44 so we take 46 okay here because this is the starting one so we ignore it but here is 11 and 9 so we take this one so what we can do here we can just do this as a if condition I will show it to you in a second so we do as a if condition it's a beautiful if condition is this one is uh, greater or equal to that one here okay so definitely this answer will be an 8 otherwise this answer will be 11 so I'm gonna uh, click OK and then we're gonna scroll down and we have the same value automatically we have the same value automatically uh, in the system okay so um, now let's calculate the total idle time machine uh, so this one here because machine a as we said we always start with machine a so there's no idle time because machine is always ready to process new jobs but unfortunately machine a when it finishes when everything finish uh, like all the job has been through machine a we have to wait uh, we have to wait for machine B to finish so this one is a summation okay so it is summation till R 13 Oops. okay so um, now we're gonna calculate the total elapsed time which is exactly this one the last bit of the program and then now we calculate the total idle time for both of them is this one plus that one here okay so this is very 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 beautiful so this is the first lesson about sequencing model and uh, about sequencing models and jobs on two machines it's very easy very straightforward I'm gonna remind you very quickly how does it work uh, so if we have um, and jobs on two machine we check all processing time for all the jobs we pick the minimum one okay if it is uh, for the a machine we, we start with it if it is for the b machine we keep it to the end like we put it at the other end of the scale okay if we find the minimum related to machine a equal to the minimum related to machine b so we put one at the start, one at the finish. If both of them, like if we, there is two jobs that are minimum related to machine A, so we start with any. If two jobs related to machine B, we start with any. If two jobs related to one machine A, one machine B, as we, we put on each end of the scale. So if you have any question, please let me know. And please subscribe to my channel as it motivates me to do more videos. And I left my email in the box description below.